This is a short video to show you how to find your last rib on your horse and make sure that your saddle is not too long. First thing we should actually do is find the strongest shoulder because the strongest shoulder will tell us where the saddle should be sitting in the first place. So, the scapula, the back edge of the scapula, you should find it on both sides of your horse. Which is the strongest shoulder on your horse? To do this, you should really look down on your horse and find the shoulder that looks furthest back. And that's the side you should be working from. Okay. To find the last rib, palpate, use the, the flat of your hand like a karate chop. Find the rib. Run your little finger along the rib and f ascertain the angle of your rib, which is coming in at that angle there. Now, the other thing you need to look for to check this is the coat growth. Now the coat of your horse is growing forward from the stifle and backward from the rib cage, and it creates a straight line where the coat joins, which is there. So your line here tells you where the rib head should join the spine, but the rib itself will come in like so. So you have this little triangular area here, which is actually extra. Don't fit your saddle to this point, fit your saddle to this point. It should not come any further back than this. Your saddle will sit onto your horse's scapula by about one inch. And if you have any doubt, when your saddle's on and girthed up, and I suggest you do this without a saddle cloth, stick your, little, uh, stick your index finger under the front of the saddle and palpate the back of the scapula, and your saddle should be basically resting on the first joint of your finger, of your index finger. That's normally, on most people, about an inch. If that's sitting in the right place, sitting on your strongest shoulder, have a look and see that it's not coming past your last rib here. 